If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I love analogies. And in this video where we talk about who you can trust, that's exactly what you're going to get. Analogy. So in order to make it easy to talk about food, diet, nutrition, big food, big pharma, the medical profession, I'm going to boil it down and talk about something completely different. And speaking of something completely different, let me introduce you to the like button. This is a magic tool that allows you to vote on YouTube. It's a way of letting YouTube know that not only did you watch the video, you are also saying, I watched it and I liked it. So if you wouldn't mind, do me a massive favor and smash the like button. That is, of course, unless you're one of the haters out there. And that's why YouTube wants to hear from you too. Because not liking something is often more indicative than liking something. So here's what you need to do. Get rid of your frustration about how much you dislike this channel simply by clicking the like button three times. If you're feeling extra frustrated, go ahead, do it five times, do it seven times. Get that frustration out. Thank you so much. And with that said, let's get on with the video. So a quick history on me. In 2006, I moved from Australia to Japan. I was really lucky because as part of that move, I was able to keep my job in Australia and remote work from Japan for a number of years. But that whole time I was remote working, I always had this feeling in the back of my mind that what happens when this job ends? It's much easier for the company to let me go when I'm in another country. And not speaking Japanese, what's going to happen to me here? My job prospects are limited. And so what I did is I started looking around the internet for other ways to make money. Now I was lucky with the remote working because I was able to get my work finished pretty efficiently and with the little bit of spare time that I had left over, I was also able to research ways that I could potentially make money online. And that's what took me into affiliate marketing. Now if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, basically it's where you promote someone else's product. Let's say a book on Amazon, you use a special link to promote that book. And if someone buys that book based on your recommendation, you get a small commission. Now the commissions can be very small, especially for products that are on Amazon. They can be like 5 and 10%, maybe even less than that. But the great thing about it is, it's not a labor intensive kind of business. So once you've got a system set up, whether it's from a blog or maybe a mailing list or something like that, it basically works on autopilot for you, which is great. But there's something that's really important about affiliate marketing. When you're going out and recommending products to people, you need to give the people some context. It's all very well for you to walk up to one of your friends and say, hey, buy this book on Amazon. It's the best book I've ever read and I know you're going to love it. If your friend takes your recommendation, they might be a little bit irritated later on when they find out A, they didn't enjoy the book and B, you actually got a commission for recommending that book to them. And so there are certain rules, norms and expectations about how you should act as an affiliate marketer. And one of those expectations is that you're going to be upfront about the fact that a recommendation from you is actually a recommendation that's going to be making you money. Because people are going to take your recommendation a little bit differently based on whether it's a recommendation just out of the goodness of your own heart or it's a recommendation that's going to make you money. That's also why in YouTube videos, when there are affiliate products being promoted in the description, you'll usually see some kind of disclaimer at the bottom of the description or next to each of the links, explicitly letting you know that the links that you see are affiliate links. And the person who's put the links there is going to make some money if you use the link. And also why if a company sponsors a particular video, for example, NordVPN sponsors one of my videos, I need to upfront put a little tag at the front of that video that says contains paid promotion. And YouTube has a way of letting the system know when you load a video that there is a paid promotion here. So it's automatically going to show that little flag at the beginning of the video. And so you can probably see why, based on your own experience in life, if someone's coming up to you and saying, hey, you should buy this, it's good, you want to know if there's any conflict of interest there. Which brings me on to food, nutrition and medication. 
So on Twitter, this is someone who I follow. This is Meathead. And Meathead posts a lot of really interesting articles and links uh, related to diet, nutrition, that kind of thing. Now, I was uh, scrolling through some of Meathead's posts the other day, and I came across an article that Meathead shared uh, about Novo Nordisk. Now, let's just read the title and then we'll go in and read the abstract of the article. Novo Nordisk spent $11 million on meals and travel for thousands of doctors to promote Ozempic. Why hasn't this been covered by any major media outlet? That's a good question. And uh, so let's go and have a look at this article. Now, this article uh, isn't fully open because I don't have a subscription to Stat, but let's just read through. Novo Nordisk bought prescribers over 450,000 meals and snacks to promote drugs like Osembic, prescribers being the doctors who will be writing the prescriptions. Okay, so... Novo Nordisk spent $11 million on meals and travel for thousands of doctors last year, federal records show. As part of its push to promote Ozempic and other weight loss inducing diabetes drugs, the pharmaceutical company bought more than 457,000 meals to, ed to educate doctors and other prescribers about its portfolio of drugs known as GLPT1 agonists according to the newly released data from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Nearly 12,000 prescribers had food paid for by the company more than a dozen times last year. More than 200 recorded more than 50 meals and snacks paid for by the company. One doctor, who is a frequent speaker for the company, requested 193. So, unfortunately, that's where the article ends because I don't have a subscription to Stat. But this is the thing, right? So, Novo Nordisk wants to promote its drug. So, how does it promote its drug? It's going to do that best by going direct to the doctors who are making recommendations to patients who believe the doctors have their best interests at heart. And that may well be the case, but... Novo Nordisk is going to those doctors and saying, hey, let's go for dinner. We want to educate you. And uh, they're taking them out and educating them um, on uh, how the drug works and why they should prescribe it to patients. And, of course, they're going to be talking about the demographic of patients that really need to be on this drug and who's going to benefit. You know, hint, probably close to 99% of the population as far as Novo Nordisk stats are concerned. And so when you look at this in the context of affiliate marketing, you look at this in the context of anything else where you want to know what the conflict of interest is. As a patient, wouldn't you like to know, going into a doctor's surgery, wouldn't you like to see something above the doctor's door that says, please be advised, this doctor has accepted free gifts from Novo Nordisk, who is a manufacturer of Ozempic. And then when you go in there and say, Doc, look, I've got back pain and I had a really bad headache today and I'm not happy with my health overall generally. And the doctor suddenly says to you, hey, we can put you on Ozempic. You'll be good after that you would be able to take a much more critical look at what has been said and you would be in a better position to then say, you know what, I'm going to go and get a second opinion from another doctor who doesn't have a sponsored by Novo Nordisk sign above his door. So that's just my thoughts. I'll leave a link to the article and also to Meathead's Twitter in uh, the description below. I'd really appreciate hearing your comments and your thoughts. Um, do you think... My opinion is too strong, too weak. What what do you think? And uh, also, guys, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you absolutely hated this video, not a problem. Remember, there is a place for you. Simply smash the like button three times or five times or seven times or how many times it takes to get your frustration out so that YouTube can understand how much you dislike this video. Cheers, guys. In which case, it's really important that you get your voice heard. And in that case... <laughs> and that's why YouTube has a place for you as well. So here's what you... <laughs>